everyone, it's Alyssa the Recipe Critic and today we're making one of my favorite slow cooker recipes, jambalaya. It's got chicken, sausage, shrimp, and all your veggies with those big bold spices and everything you love about jambalaya. The best part about this recipe is it only takes about 10 minutes of prep and you let your slow cooker do all the work. We're gonna start by cutting our chicken into one inch cubes. You can also use chicken thighs, just make sure to trim the fat and the gristle. We're just gonna slide this on into the slow cooker. Next up, we're gonna thinly slice and dual sausage. I like using and dual sausage because it's very traditional in jambalaya and gives great flavor. And just like the chicken, once it's done, you're just gonna slide it into the crock pot. Only a few more ingredients left to chop up, starting with an onion. I like to cut mine roughly up, but you can cut it however you would like. Now we're gonna just quickly dice up our celery. Once you're done crying from the onions, we're just gonna add in our onions and celery. Next, we're gonna use a bell pepper, and we're gonna use red or green, or a mixture of whatever you like. And I like to dice these pretty fine, but again, you can do whatever you would like. And just slide the red pepper in. Now we're gonna start adding some flavors and spices, and we're gonna start with our chicken broth, followed by some canned diced tomatoes, followed by some oregano, thyme, Cajun, and cayenne. We're gonna do one tablespoon of tomato paste and just give this a good stir. At this point, you can add in one cup of uncooked rice and have it all cooked together, or you can wait to serve it over rice at the end. Now that we have it all ready to go, we're gonna cook it on low for four to six hours or high for about three to four. 15 minutes before it is done, we're gonna add in some shrimp. So I'm gonna show you how to prepare your shrimp. You can buy already peeled and deveined shrimp, but I ended up with this shrimp, so I'm gonna show you how to peel it. To take the tail off, we're just gonna snap it like that and then we're gonna peel the rest of the shell, just like that. So I'm gonna leave the tail on for mine just because it looks prettier in photos and it gets you guys to comment. Once your shrimp are ready, we're gonna put them in the last 15 minutes. We're gonna give that a good stir. Let those shrimp cook until they are pink and slightly opaque. See how simple that was? It only took a few minutes to throw it all into the slow cooker and we're gonna have an amazing meal. For the full written recipe, visit therecipecritic.com.